Hi, Candy Flames here today with another Yankee Candle Chit Chat and Review and today we are talking about Christmas Eve Cocoa and this is another one from the Christmas Countdown Collection. So welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new to my channel then welcome. I'm really pleased to have you here where I do reviews mainly on Yankee Candles. Um, hope you've had a good week and that you're all well. Okay, and also thank you for taking the time out of your day to be with me. I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to jump into Yankee Candles description and we have a Christmas classic becomes a new tradition with an over the top cocoa bar. Sweet vanilla scents blend with notes of praline and mint to create a tempting treat to share with family and friends. So we have top notes of citrus, vetvia, marjoram, clove. We have mid notes of sandalwood, vanilla, blossom, geranium and turberose. And we have base notes of white woods, praline, musk, sorry, praline, musk and patchouli. So lots of notes going on there. Okay, as always, I sort of go on what I think of this visually. Um, okay, so it's not a traditional looking candle like your white, your red, your greens, with this sort of baby pink going on here. Um, having said that, you can see by the label there's marshmallows in the background there, so perhaps it's meant to be sort of a marshmallowy colour. Personally for me, I'm afraid I don't like it. I think they've missed it with this one, and I always praise them, don't I, for the looks of their candle and how well it's blended and it comes together, but I'm not quite getting it this time with this, I'm afraid. Um, the label there, a few candy canes, you know, a cup of cocoa with some crushed candy canes and some marshmallows in the background. I don't really like it. I'm sorry, it just doesn't, do, you know, do it for me. Um, and as much as I love baby pink, and I really, really do, I'm not feeling it for a Christmas candle. I would probably have liked to have seen a nice chocolate coloured wax with a really Christmassy picture of perhaps a log cabin with some decorations and Father Christmas sat there in the corner in a rocking chair with a cup of cocoa. That's what I would have liked and oh yeah, I can picture it. And this one for me, no, sorry. It just doesn't do nothing for me and to me they've missed it with this one. So um, having said that, let's jump onto the notes. Lots of notes going on here, isn't there? Um, you know, with the marjoram and the clove there, um, adding that bit of Christmassy, I suppose, and the turbo rose. We've got the praline musk running through it. It, it is very sweet, so I, I do get the vanilla, I get the praline musk, um, and there's like this hint of mint coming through. It's very nice, I have to tell you that now. It's a sweet scent, and if you like your sweet scents, your food scents, your vanilla scents, you are going to like this. It is along them lines. Um, very pleasant, very nice. Is it Christmassy? To me, no, it's missed it with Christmas. I, I'm not getting nothing Christmassy at all with it. Um, so I have to say I am a little bit disappointed. I wanted notes in there like chocolate, marshmallow, sugar, you know, perhaps stronger mint. I was looking for you know, what you'd like from a Christmas Eve cup of cocoa, really. Um, not blossom and geranium. I wasn't looking for all that in my Christmas Eve cocoa at all. A bit disappointed, as you can tell. Having said that, it's a real tricky one. This has probably got to be the most confusing candle I've reviewed lately. It is nice. It's very nice. It smells sweet and delicious. But I'm just disappointed for it being in the Christmas collection, I think. Um... And there's so much more they could have done with this, like I say, with the looks and the label and the notes. I just feel, you know, look at all them marshmallows on the label there. And yet, not a single note of marshmallows. Oh, I'm not going to keep going over it. It's nice, very nice, not Christmassy. So, it would work well in a dining room. It would work well in your kitchen. Maybe if you want it around your decorations. Um, I have to say I do display a lot of Christmas candles in my living room. They're mainly the green, the white, the reds, um, them sort of colours. So this doesn't fit in with my Christmas candles, even on the look. So I won't be displaying it in my living room. Not sure if I would be buying it again. Um, basically, I, next week I'm going to do a review of the whole collection. 
and I will have used it. I think this is about my second burn with this one. Third maybe, no second. So, but by the time I review it next week, I will make sure to have used it a couple more times and see if anything's changed. Um, I like to do that when I review the whole collection, that you know if anything's changed on them, but I also like to do like best scent, you know, most Christmassy one, best throw. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next week. We'll talk about the throw of this one. Um, it is quite light, not too light. I'd say just hitting a medium throw, um, not strong, nowhere near as strong enough as uh, perhaps everybody out there would like it. Having said that, I would probably give it a five and a half, maybe going on to a six, maybe. Um, just feel it could have packed a little bit more, you know, packed a punch a little bit more with this one. Um, would I buy it again? Like I say, I've, I've got to use it a couple more times. Perhaps if it had a different label on it, because the colour's quite pleasant, so perhaps, yeah, if there was a different label on it, I'd quite happily use this again. Um, because I do like my foodie candles, my sweet candles, them, you know, delicious ones. And that does fit into this, um, you know, category, but just not Christmassy. And it shouldn't be in the Christmas countdown collection to me. Having said that, I have checked up on the reviews. There is quite a few people that agree with me, but there's also many of you out there that absolutely love this candle. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with it. So just please remember that these are my own thoughts and opinions. I'd love you to comment down below so that I can hear, perhaps if you've got this, what you, you know, how you feel about it. Do you feel it's Christmassy? Perhaps it's just me. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear from you all. Um, I think I've covered everything I can about this one. And uh, I wish you all a really, really good week. Like I say, back next week with the whole collection. The week after that, um, I will be heading into um, the candles that I use for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. And then the week after, I'll be telling you what I like to use, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Um, as I said before, leave me down in the comments. Do you light up particular candles on, you know, certain days? And let me know what ones you use. So, yeah, have a really good week. Sorry it was, like, not really... I don't know, It was. I'd like the candle, but just not really for Christmas. So sorry if you're a bit disappointed with this one. Um, but I'll be back next week. So like I say, stay safe and I will see you then.